all right hi guys welcome back to the channel um been playing a lot of elden ring like i'm sure most most people have been or well, most gamers anyway and um i want to make a video kind of like highlighting what you should do before starting new game plus and try to avoid spoilers this orange, these orange leaves falling are pretty major spoiler, but if you're watching this video, I mean, you should be at the end of the game anyway. So, um, let's get into it. Um, so let's say you, you beat the Elden Beast, you're ready to start new game plus. So what should you do? Um, first thing you should do is collect all the limited upgrade material, like the great grave glove work and the great ghost glove work and also the ancient dragon smith and stone and the ancient the samba ancient dragon smith and stone um you can only get so many of those per per playthrough so you should definitely look them up get a guide or something make sure you get all of those so you can max out yeah, those ashes and max out the weapons that you want before going in, in, into new game plus and also you should buy everything you want to buy from the merchants because you're going to lose all your grace sites that you get that you gathered while playing through new game you're going to lose them all so, i mean and some of these merchants are pretty far off see i don't think they have any here let me see uh that's a frame of chrome but yeah on well, this one uh let's say just for example i needed something from this guy that he sold and i'd have to come all the way back to lindale before i'd be able to have access to him again in new game plus so i mean get all you want from the merchants now before new game plus and also um you're gonna lose all your bell barons that you turned into round table hold also um get all the prayer books all the scrolls um turn those into a trainer buy all the spells the spells are going to carry over but um those trainers those inventories for the trainers you'd have to find the books again and turn them in again to keep them um kill all the dragons get the dragon hearts get the dragon communion stuff um get the lava tears for respects i think you can only get 18 per playthrough I'm correct. Is that limited also? Kind of like the dragon stones, the smithing stones, and whatnot. Um, collect all the death root, turn them into the beast clergyman because that doesn't carry over. You'd have to collect the death root again and turn them all over into him again to get items that you would have missed on this playthrough if you didn't turn them all in. Um, like killer NPCs that you want. That gear from um trade in all your remembrance stuff because you can't it'll carry over to the new game but it can't um you can't uh turn it in again until you kill that boss again so yeah so make sure oh uh, what else Make sure you get all the walking mausoleums. Make sure you get all the cookbooks. These, this kind of stuff carries over. Oh, make sure you get all the tears for your wondrous physics. And I uh, just want to point out some of those tears are really good. See if I can find them. There we go. This, uh, I think I got all of the tears. All in ingredient tiers for the wondrous physic. Some of these are pretty overpowered, like this with the blasting sword. I mean, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, this one comes in handy too. Uh, you see, I'm wearing a pretty heavy armor, so I got the medium roll. And if I drink that physics, now I got the light roll. And it lasts for like a good couple of minutes. So I thought that was a pretty insane physics ingredient. So make sure you grab that one. And you can see 
you get the best roll. I mean, this comes in like super handy for boss fights. But uh, anyway, let's continue. Um, what else? Memory stones carry over. Your crack pots carry over. Make make sure you find all of them though. Um, ritual pots, perfume pots, memory stones. Your tal talisman pouches carry over. Um, all your upgrades for your flares carries over. All your talismans carry over. Which um, I think I've gotten most of the talismans, if not all the talismans. Um, I'm not quite um. Look at all the spells I've gotten so far. I think I got most of the spells also. Um, even though this character does not design to be a spellcaster, obviously it's like a strength faith type of build. And I think I got most of all the incantations also. Um, what else we need to get? Man, got a lot of incantations on here. And Frenzy Flame. Dragon. Okay, yeah, and make sure you get all the Ashes of War that you want. I uh, think I've got most of them here. Maybe I've gotten nearly all of them. I may be missing one or two here and there. Um, but make sure you grab all of these, because, I mean, like I said, you're going to lose. You're going to lose your uh, Sights of Grace. So you're not going to be able to have as easy access to go back and get the ones that you miss. And of course, all your weapons are going to carry over. And um, matter of fact, uh, make sure you grind out the weapons that you want. Because some of these weapons, that the ones that you have to grind from the enemies, they have like a ridiculously low drop rate. Like even with the little silver beetle a bug talisman that boosts your drop rate it's still like really low so make sure you grind um make sure you grind any weapons that you want before starting new game plus and i was trying to find uh this is axe i grind had to grind from uh Y'all might already be familiar with it. I had to grind it from the guys in the underground, uh, subterranean, shunning, shunning grounds, I think that's what it's called. The underground ro road crossings. Um, Grace Point, the almond trolls down there. Um, Just as an example, and it is a S tier X, S scale and X. And the attack reading is pretty good. This is it right here, the heavy warp X. I thought I equipped it. Um, so anything like that, like along that line, like a weapon that you want to carry over. Like this. I was thinking about getting two of these and to kind of do it with them because they, they're pretty nice. The move set's not that bad. Anyway. Um, see what else. Uh, look at that, I guess. Look at my notes here, see what else I want to discuss. I think I pretty much covered it all. Um, I guess if I forgot anything, I'll put them in the comments, but, uh, yeah, just make sure you get that stuff that I talked about earlier. Um, oh, yes, the wheat blades, which I did miss one of these, but these things carry over also. The wheat blades that you use to change the infinity of your ash. So all I missed the uh, sanctified wheat blade, which was in Lindell, which is, as uh, y'all know, with Lindell. If you burn Lindell, you lose the you lose the wheat blade. So now nah, I gotta get down from New Game Plus. But other than that, I've gotten all of them ones that I can get. And um, but these things are pretty cool. Even if the ash, 
Do you want to add magic infinity to an ash that doesn't have magic infinity affinity? You would just use the glintstone wheat blade. Now, if you wanted fire and the ash doesn't have fire, you could use this thing and make it a fire. You know, what a, a fire war, ash of war, instead of just whatever the natural affinity is on the ash of war. Oh, and you great, you lose your great runes also, so you have to recollect these. But um, I think that's all I wanted to. Think that's all I wanted to discuss. Um, think that's everything. But um, if you had any questions or anything, um, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer your questions. Um. Make sure you get all the legendary talismans too, because you get an achievement and they're pretty useful. Like this thing enormously boosts physical damage negation. Um, vastly boosts fire damage negation, which I don't think this is a legendary talisman, but still come in handy, you know. Um anyway, um thanks for watching the video and like I say if you had any questions just um let me know in the comments I'll answer any questions